Yes, 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 yes. I came back around this corner to have a last flick. Check this bad boy out. My new rod. George's River Bash. Let's go for an adventure because have a look at this. Look at the water. It's all the way here. This is incredible. Look at the walkway. Look at that. You can't even get your way across here. Even my waterproof shoes won't take me across this. Looks like we're going to rig up on this corner right here. I just want to get a lure in the water right now. I'll take literally anything but something a bit faster sinking like this little paddle tail from Z-Man Slim Swims. That's what I grabbed out. That's what's going on. So hopefully you that's watching co-sign on that idea. Little of ye old sexy juice there. Get this spider web off. That is insane. Still a bit on my rod there. Who cares? Yeah, perfect cast straight onto the bridge. Ricocheted straight back in the water. And I'm going to bring it straight back in and we're going to be off the mark. So what did Mike Tyson say? Everyone's got a plan until they get hit in the mouth. Or everyone's got a plan in fishing until they don't get a bite. <laughs> That's my old sage advice right there. Actually, here's another one. You can't catch a fish unless you cast. I'm on point today. Here we go. I need some more advice, Mike Tyson. Here we go. What should I do? We're getting hit in the mouth right now. Look at all this mullet here. Well, actually, I don't know if they're mullet, but they're fish fry congregating together. Big mullet jumping up on the left there. It's right over there. Look at that. There's a lot of surface action there. Lots of mullet in the distance. There's definitely a heap of action. It's like something is chasing those mullet. Yeah, I'm about <laughs> the whole cast distance short. Yeah, definitely something going on in the distance there. Yes, we got something right there. This is, is this the first fish on this rod for me? Blooded, woo! <sighs> That's it. That was a Balrog punch. <laughs> Let's get that pop. Crack, boop. There she is. Lure's out, gotta avoid those spines. We don't wanna go into the infirmary. And we're gonna pick up this rod and start right now. Looks like the George's River took round one, but we are back in it with round two. Look at that, my casting is on point once again. What a skip. Um, probably another hour, I'd say, but it might take a while. Ah, that was a hit. We just missed one there. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting a few yet, but it, it might be. M might get a few. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been here long. So look at that bit of action in the shallows there. But we did get a hit just right here. We'll go over there, actually. Let's go follow the fish. There's fish jumping in that corner, and there's fish jumping in this corner. Oh, more spider webs. Jeez, it's just my lucky day. Everything's got a spider web today. Every one of these gaps, spider web on my lure, but oh, the fish don't wait for anyone. What's the money I'll hook up right on this edge here? See the bets rolling in? Yeah. If you put money on that, you're a legend. Because we just got our second fish. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in through the hole. Don't tip it, don't tip it. Hold pressure. Yes. Boom. Flatty. Two for the shroom. This one down deep. I don't know if I can get it out without pliers. Yeah, look at that. We can get it out. Get that pop, boop. Well, not the greatest pop in the world. We shall take that. This is where it's going to go. On this side. <laughs> look at that. 360 spin. Pick that up. Off the boardwalk gonna go, have to run this way and go retie the leaders chafe come around here set that down in case you're wondering i do a five turn uni knot for the terminal four and five and tighten and wet but i probably should say not in that order you gotta wet it first before you tighten it there we go the color of the water looks pretty good to tbh as they say so this rod doesn't cast as well as my edge rod see that's pretty interesting isn't it because this is a one to three kilogram rod, but my edge rod is a six to eight pound. It's weird. Yes, 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 sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Little brother, little sister. Get around there, spider web for you too. Bonanza for literally every fish, and me too. Another dark, dusky, Boop. right there. Little tiger. Let's yeet him. <laughs> Work it close to this edge too. Hop, hop, another spider web. That's just the 
the theme of today's session is just spiderweb central man i wonder if anyone's even been fishing here obviously but how come there's that many spiders boggles the mind do we have like some sort of crazy infestation like i remember earlier this year we had a rat infestation in australia or new south wales and there were rats everywhere or at least mice i'm just trying to think of recent videos that i've seen with someone poking in like a little black patch on a wall and just explodes with like hundreds and thousands of spiders looks like there's a bit of bait just stirring underneath here so i'm just going to step back so i can work it because it's not easy to work it right in close and in fact i think most of my fish have been pretty much just a rod tip length away and then i've got a hit look at that look how quickly the water's going out you can literally see it recede away there look at that i can almost stand there oh i've got options look at this all these options have just opened up let me just flick along these mangroves is there a mr brim here all right i'm just going to be quick i've got a pre-rigged one here with a heavy jig head already on here we'll just use this one this one's one sixth ounce with a z-man prawns new lures under the bridge now i'm going to try it here the flow should be strong justify using a heavier jig head look at that looks sublime all right let's start anywhere's good yes oh no no, the drag set good there, not too heavy. Quick damage check. Yeah, leader's far up there, jeez. That was a good fish then. I'm gonna have to retie that, can't even cast again. Just tied it back on. Yes, oh, what a hit. What a hit. I can't believe that they can hit that hard on a one six ounce jig head. I still can't even stand on this corner. Technically, it's still wet. We have to hook up. Yep, we've got something. It loaded on. I wound onto this one. This might have been the fish before because flathead may not move very far sometimes. I'm high sticking, but I knew what I was doing there. Woo! Boom! Hey, let's see if it can release itself. It's already in the water. Come on, buddy. You can do it. He's already in the water. Look at that. You're going the wrong way. The water's just there. Why are you going this way? All right, let's do a tappity tap. Come on. Where you going? Take 99. What not on my time, guys? <laughs> We've done it so many times today. That's what you got to do when you tie flathead. And by tie, I meant catch. You might want a better look at that lure right there. Z-Man prawns. That color is called Houdini. Because we're pulling a Houdini right here. Because I just made the water disappear. Like, more seriously, this Houdini color sort of blends in. It's got that brown-green-ish tinge. You guys know how I like that. Perfect! Now, we did get another hit that felt very brimmy. So, then, there's definitely a few brim. Now, there is still one fish that I haven't caught here. Whose name I shall not speak because we're on the Georges. And it would be a rather special catch if you get my drift. Speak of the devil. Look at that thing floating up on top there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, dropped it. wonder if it'll come back up. Can't believe that it just hit right here within a rod length, just teabagging. Seriously. Here goes nothing down the river. Oh, looks like there's just one out that way. Try back this way. Couldn't. A few moments later. Oh, wow, wow. Got this one's actually giving me a little bit of a run here. I've not tied on the leader. It's in close, but I don't think I've ha I have him under control. Uh, we still might lose this guy because my leader is not great. Let's see the moment I lose him. Three, two, one. <laughs> under the chin, how lucky is that? Out comes the Z-Man Prawns. Needs a new leader, needs a new leader. But I'm lazy, Lewis still looks good. All right, let's pick this up and let's fix this big mess. Tangles everywhere. While I do that, how many flatties have we caught today? Supposed to just blood this rod, but we've got a bunch of them. Yes, 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 yes. I came back around this corner to have a last flick, and it seems like we have our man or woman or somebody, but it is certainly most definitely a flatty. Another one for Mac Flatty Day, three, two, one, high sticking, but ah, 
I never keep this pointed directly up because that's how you snap it. But yeah, technically a little bit of high sticking there. Don't want to do that. Yeah, boom. Best one of the day. Probably. I mean, they all look about the same size. <laughs> Just set that rod down here. Look at that. More spider webs. Spider webs, flavor of the day. He's feisty. He's ready to go. Let me just slide him off here. It's been a good day. Blooding this new rod. Plenty of flatty. But so thanks for joining me on this adventure. If you enjoyed the video, support it with a thumbs up. I'm going to be back out trip. here shortly. But to continue the good times, I'm going to have another video rolling. Click on that one. Watch that next one. <laughs>